In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to export your sales funnels in WordPress. Coming up. One of the most features that I always wished we had when it comes to building sales funnels in WordPress was the ability to export our funnels and share them. So it looks like Cardflows has really uh, stepped up the game here and added this feature. Now, this feature is very exciting for me, as, a, as you'll see throughout this video. Now, before I begin, I also like to remind you that if you buy Cardflows using my affiliate link, you'll get access to my Sales Funnel Mastery course, which teaches you how to build sales funnels using Cardflows and WordPress. And also, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, you get access to my Web Design Formula course, a course that teaches you how to build professional looking websites with Divi. All right, let's take a look at this feature and see how it works. All right, so by the way, I'm running the latest update on Cardflow. So if you haven't updated it, please go ahead and update it. All right, so here it goes. So right now, I'm on this website. Uh, this is on my local machine, but of course, this works pretty much on websites that I hosted up there. Okay, so here's my website. I've uh, created my products here, and if I go to Cut Flows, click on Flows, you notice that I have my business consultation funnel. Now, what does this look like? Let's go ahead and take a look. So, if I click here, our very first page here is our landing page, our sales page. So, if I come over here and take a look, this is pretty much our landing page. And if we click on buy now, it's gonna take us to our sales page, which is this basic sales page here, which also has an order bump. So everything works fine here. Now, here's the thing. What will be fun is if I can just share this complete funnel with its images, the designs, the steps, pretty much everything. Now, let's see if we can do this. Right, so what I've done ahead of time is I've set up my other website here, ready to go. So this here is the 50k.local. Please take note of this URL. So this is our funnel. And if I go back here to Cutflows, you can see this is our business consultation. All right, so let's say I need to export this and uh, allow it to be used on a different type of website. So here's what we need to do. All right, so I have another site here and this is cutflows.local. And as you can see here, we don't have any funnels here. Okay, so this is our flows uh, .local, I mean 50k.local, and this one is the one that has the business consultation, and then over here, this one here has nothing. Okay, so let's see if this really works. So let's say I wanna share my funnel with everyone out there. All I have to do is to hit export, and you can see here on the bottom left, uh, this has exported a JSON file. Now, here's the test. If I come over here to my new site, which doesn't have anything, I'm gonna click on import. I'm gonna choose the file. And then this is the one I've just downloaded. Click on open, import. Okay, now the message says successfully imported flows. All right, so here's the moment of truth. I'm curious to see if this is going to work. This is the first time I'm doing it, by the way. So I'm going to come over here to my flows and boom, we have it there. Now notice my URL hasn't changed. It's still cutflows.local and this one here is 50k.local. So pretty much if all has gone well, I can go here and see the complete sales funnel. So if I click here on business consultation, there we go. So I have my three steps. Here's the question now. I did not import the images onto this new website. So the images are for the sales page, the checkout page and so on. So I wanna see if the images have been imported here on this new site. So I'm gonna open this in a new tab, see what happens. Wow, so I can see here my image has, has been imported because this is the image that I added when I created my website uh, from the previous one that I exported from. And then if I scroll down here, I should have some images for my testimonials. And there we go. So we have all our images, which is fantastic. Here's the next question now. The checkout form, does it still have the structure that I have when I exported it? All right, now here's something very, very important. If we go back to our site here, which has our original site, which is the 50k.local, and I take a look at my 
sales funnels. Okay, so for this one here, if I click on view, and I'm gonna open this in a new tab so we can see what is happening, all right? So the landing page pretty much looks the same as the one that I exported here. So you can see pretty much identical, okay? So back on this one here. When I click buy now, it's gonna take me to my product, okay? Because I set it all up already in WooCommerce. So here are all my fields, which is great. Now, over here, if I do the same thing, now notice that this is the site where I exported the template. If I click next or buy now, the page shouldn't have anything because there are no products, which also makes sense because it won't create the products for you. This is the template, which means we're only talking about the design. So if we were to now come over here and add our products, so I'm just gonna go to the dashboard of the site where I exported the template to, and add our products here in WooCommerce. So this is where we would need to add our products. And once we add them, the next step that you need to do now is to head over to the actual sales page, which is this page here. Click on edit step, and then you want to add all your products for this page to show. But what I'm curious to find out here is, if I add my products, is it going to automatically remove those additional checkout fields. So let's check this out. All right, so once you add all your products here in WooCommerce, you need to come over here to the checkout page, click on edit, add all your products in there, and pretty much this is going to work as it is because this is a template. Now, the one page I also need to take a look here at is the thank you page, and let's see if this looks really great. So I'm gonna open this in a new tab, and there we go. So our thank you page still looks the same. We have our video here and we also have our message. Now, what does this mean moving forward? So what makes me really excited about this feature is as designers now, we can create our sales funnels and sell them. So this is another opportunity that we can now use because of this latest feature. So go ahead, try it out. And, and by the way, you need to be running the latest cost flows. So go ahead, download it. And as I mentioned, if you use my affiliate links, you get access to my courses. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.